Hey y'all, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to, to create this text effect Ariana Grande used for her positions promos. So this effect was created and credited to Katia Temkin. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Go follow her on TikTok because she's amazing. She does um, a lot of Ariana Grande's promos, so go follow her and shout out to her. So right now I'm going to hit Command Y on my keyboard to create a new solid white. And then we need to make a gradient look just like this that I added on the screen right there. So you can download the gradient I used in the description box. Um, you basically just want to rotate it and um, make a lot of duplicates so you can get the gradient to look like that. If you can find a whole gradient image that looks like that, um, try to, but I couldn't find one so I just had to create it myself. So you want to select all your gradients and your white solids to create a new composition. So this would be your gradient composition. And then turn the visibility off on that. And then now we're gonna add our text. So you can add whatever text you want. You can do your name, whatever you want. I did my ad name, which is at the RJ Media. Go follow me on all socials. Um, I post a lot of cool content on TikTok and recreation. So go follow me there. So the font I used was Newsign. This is a free Adobe font. If you have Adobe Creative Cloud account, you can download this font from adobefonts.com. So I made a bunch of duplicates of it. I'm pretty sure it's like eight. So you um, just want to make enough to pretty much almost fill the screen. And then I'm adjusting the spacing between each one and the spacing between the letters. And so I copied it one more time and then made eight more copies. So now we're going to add keyframes to the position. Um, just drag it down a little bit so you have a little space at the top. Hit the stopwatch under position to create a keyframe. And then drag it up and then move it as fast or as slow as you want it. So this is what I ended up doing. So then now we want to pre-compose this text layer. And then be sure to hit move all attributes into the new composition. And then now we need to add the effect of displacement map to this text layer. So we need to change the displacement map layer under here to the gradient composition. And you need to make sure the gradient composition is dragged above the text comp. So you'll see me do it right now. I'm dragging above the text comp and making sure the gradient composition is number one. And then we need to change the horizontal displace to luminance and the vertical displace to luminance. And then we need to change the max horizontal displacement and the max vertical displacement. I did 209 to 474, but you can customize it and to get it to look as exaggerated or as not as you want. That's just the numbers that I ended up doing, which you'll see. And then yeah, so I'm liking how this is looking. So now I'm gonna hit Command Y and create a new solid. I did like a pale pink. In Ariana's promos, it tends to be like a pale blue, but you can customize it and do whatever you want. And so yeah, this ends up being the final product. Like I said, you can customize it to your liking, change the font, change the background, you can get creative with it. Follow me on all socials at the RJ Media and subscribe. Help me reach a thousand subscribers and comment down below other tutorials y'all want to see. See y'all in the next one.